Hi, uh, my name's Hi, my name is Ed from Madison, and uh, I drive by here all the time from work, and uh, I just was overcome with grief, and I bought some flowers at the local store, and I uh, just ultimately sad, and just came by by to pay my respects. What do you think about the incident? Why did it happen? Any ideas why it, that uh, the individual uh, shot at a place of worship? The man was obviously sick. Uh, he just had hatred in his heart. He was closed-minded. He saw people that were different than him, and he couldn't handle it. And I'm sure he thought he was doing a brave act, but obviously it wasn't. The person was obviously ill. I know that's no excuse, but that's the only conclusion you can come up with when you run into situations like this. And do you know much about the Sikh community? Do you know uh, about the Sikh community in Oak Creek? Um, I know a fair amount. It's what, approximately 600 years old. It was originated in India. A lot of people mis mistake Sikhs for Muslims. And uh, obviously you have... Uh, an obvious different appearance and there are some people who just as I said before are are, are sick and and uh, do were singled out and and just most people are very saddened by what happened thank you very much thank you for your uh, words of support sure uh, peace <laughs> 60th year of teaching, and our goal is to have all children of all races, of all religions, understand each other and get along together. And that's why I'm here, because there are so many young people who don't understand why someone looks different or acts different. I just believe that God gave us this wonderful Mother Earth and our job is to leave it as good or better than we found it. Then all the religions would be able to have their own special religion and not keep others away. Hate and greed are ruining our country. Our public schools are the best place that we can help everyone learn how to get along with each other and understand and accept religions and faiths that are different. And this people, these people at the sites are wonderful people who are working for peace. They are wonderful people. And why someone who is hateful and thinks that the white man is supreme, he's not. We're all of this earth, and we need to work with each other. And so any of you young people out there listening, when you go to school this fall, remember someone who looks different, acts different, maybe isn't as fancily dressed as you are, uh, talk to them, ask them what they think, how they believe, and know that we are all here together. Uh, my name? Joan Christopherson Schmidt, but kids call me Miss Chris. I hope my message to you will help. Guruji ka khalsa, wahe Guruji ki fate. Asi bade dukhna keh rahe hain ki ethe sade Gurdwara saab any buri happen hui hai. Te asi ready ho rahe si ethe only sare te achana ki ye happen hogi te sanu. फोन तो पता लगा फिर ਅਸੀਂ सारे वापस चले गए ते ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਬੜਾ ਦੁੱਖ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਐਡੀ ਵੱਡੀ ਹੈਪਨ ਇੱਥੇ ਸਾਡੇ ਟਾਊਨ ਚ ਹੋਈ ਹੈ ਮੇਰਾ ਖਿਆਲ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਪਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਐਜੂਕੇਟ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਇੱਥੇ ਫੋਰਨ ਕੰਟਰੀਜ਼ ਚ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੌਣ ਨੇ ਲੋਕਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਹੀ ਨਹ
ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੋਸਟਲੀ ਇਹ ਹੈਪਨ ਛੋਟੇ ਟਾਊਨਾਂ ਚ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੁਝ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਦੱਸੋ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਬਾਰੇ ਦੱਸੋ ਇੱਥੇ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਮੀਡੀਆ ਕਰ ਹੀ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਹੁਣ ਐਜੂਕੇਟ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਦੱਸ ਹੀ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਤੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਮੇਰੇ ਖਿਆਲ ਚ ਲੋਕਲ ਸਕੂਲਾਂ ਚ ਵੀ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਕਿ ਐਟਲੀਸਟ ਸਾਰੇ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਨਸ ਬਾਰੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਜਾਵੇ ਕਿ ਸਿੱਖ ਕੌਣ ਨੇ Hindu ਕੌਣ ਨੇ ਤੇ ਹੋਰ देयर ਹੈਵ ਸੋ ਮੈਨੀ ਅਦਰ ਰਿਲੀਜੀਅਨਸ ਤਾਂ ਇਹ ਜੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਕਿਸੇ ਵੀ ਧਰਮ ਨੂੰ ਫੇਸ ਨਾ ਕੀਤੀ ਜਾਵੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਧਰਮ ਇੱਕ ਨੇ ਪਰਮਾਤਮਾ ਨੇ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਇੱਕ ਬਣਾ ਕੇ ਭੇਜਿਆ ਹੈ ਲੇਕਿਨ ਕੁਝ ਐਸੇ ਲੋਕ ਹੈ ਜਿਨ੍ਹਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪਤਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਧਰਮ ਦੀ ਕੀ ਪਛਾਣ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਇਸ ਕਰਕੇ ਐਜੂਕੇਟਿਡ ਹੋਣਾ ਹਰ ਇੱਕ ਸਕੂਲ ਕਾਲਜਸ ਦੱਸਣਾ ਬਹੁਤ ਜ਼ਰੂਰੀ ਹੈ ਬੱਚਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਆਉਣ ਵਾਲੀ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਸਾਡੀ ਇਹੀ ਐਸ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਅੱਗੇ ਤਾਂ ਅਰਦਾਸ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਸਭ ਨੂੰ ਐਜੂਕੇਟਿਡ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਖਾਲਸਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਫਤਿਹ Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Uh my name is Gurmuk Singh. Um I'm really not designed to be in front of a microphone. Um and I'm going to ask you just listen to me for 5 seconds. Um we'll get back to these guys as soon as possible. Um basically after um following um the music from the Salvation Army, following the national anthem, um I would ask anybody that is willing to participate in the memorial service tonight to head over to Miller Park right across the street on the way there you will be greeted by the wonderful amazing folks of the Salvation Army who are going to hand you um head wraps they will also hand you water and they will also hand you um information for anything else that you're going to need You will be given candles. Please light those candles however you see fit. We will have people in the crowd lighting those for you. Um that's what we need you to do. Um this area right here for me right now is just I just need you to know where this stuff is going to happen. And if you guys could just get there, settle in. Um the memorial service tonight, we'll get started over there. Um once everybody's there, settled, um and we have everybody in place. I ask all I ask for you is by the nature of 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 how these events have <laughs>
That's what I'm So I'm thinking this is going up on the Introduce yourself. Tell us your name and where you live. I'm Tim Barger, and I live in Oak Creek. And have you lived here a long time? Yes, we have. Uh, what do you think about recent events? Oak Creek has been uh, propelled to the international stage and has been in the news across the world. And what do you think about uh, recent events which have occurred in Oak Creek? I think it's just terrible that ha what happened. 
mind-boggling. You, you hear about it happening everywhere else, but here in your own community, it happening. You just don't think of it happening in your own community. And why have you come today to this gathering? Um, to show our support and just to let them know that um, we yeah thought with about. this community. We're here to show them this. Do you know much about the Sioux community before this event? Did you know much about the community? Unfortunately not. We learned a lot since this happened. Yes. And how did you learn that? How did you find out more recently? Um, they were talking about it on TV, so we learned a lot from TV and just um, with other people talking about it. And what do you know about the Sioux community now? What have you learned? The the people are very friendly, sociable. Will talk. You don't need to ignore them. We're you know we're all human. We can talk to each other. So that and the the way their beliefs are and you know other beliefs, um, they have different ways of showing. You uh, have to take your shoes off. So be it. You know. Is that, do you think there's some positive? Uh uh, positive things have come out of these very horrible events and hopefully it will uh, make Oak Creek a better place. Yes, I hope it does and I think it will just by what's going on here tonight. I think everybody will become one. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm what's happened tonight? Just describe the scene. Okay. Um, I'm actually quite amazed at the number of people that are here. It's very amazing that everybody came together. We live really close to the temple and have been keeping track of everything that's going on. And the, the level of peacefulness that actually has come on from this has been incredible. So there's just people everywhere coming and they're just still coming. And do you think that some positive things have come out of this very horrible incident? Do you think it's uh, um, Oak Creek will be a better place after this incident? Well, it's hard to imagine, but I do hope it will be a better place. I hope people realize the importance of uh, the community membership, uh, the importance of their community, uh, their friends and their colleagues and their neighbors, uh, and, and coming together to you know, combat evil like this. And so I do hope it ends up that way, yes. And what do you know about the Sea community before these events? Did you know much about the Sea community? Uh, no, I'm afraid I don't. I'm afraid I don't. Um, I know members who are, but they're private people, and I've never had the courage to ask. So I hope I will after this. Yeah. So do you think more should be done to educate and to engage the community, the Sea community, and both the wider community should come together more often and learn more about each other? Yes, I think they should. And I hope our... Uh, Government officials would help foster some of that. Community members would help bring some events like that together, yes. Any suggestions how, how, how we can encourage this sort of education and more interaction? Um, I think if people would get outside of their houses more, interact with their neighbors more, meet people, uh, introduce themselves, get to know each other as humans rather than labels, I think it will go a long way to helping that, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Yes. I'll ask you to describe the, the uh, surroundings and the scene tonight. Okay. I think, you know, this is our normal for us with the National Night Out, and I think that with the happenings of what happened this week, bringing the community together and showing that, you know, we're all equal and we're all in this and everybody is affected. I mean, be it we all knew maybe of somebody or I personally knew a few people myself. And, um, you know, you, when you heard it, you wondered, is it anybody I know? Um, my son had a classmate from his grade school that they just graduated with, and they would spend many hours there on Sunday at Temple, and they hadn't been there yet. But, you know, your hearts went out, and you felt helpless, like you couldn't do anything. I mean, the next day, I think it was, seemed even more real, and not knowing you wanted to do and help people and not know what you could do or say. You know, but just to know that they're in our prayers and it's probably the most important thing. And did you know much about the Sea community before these events? I'm actually fairly new to the community, um, but with the type of job that I do, I work with um, children who are impacted by homicide, so this is something that I deal with on a regular basis. So I am really happy to see the turnout here and see the community come together. 
and uh, what about looking to the future do you think uh, Oak Creek will be a better place after this will there be better community understanding I hope I, mean, I think it always was to begin with but I think this will have made it even stronger than what it was you know and it can show us that anywhere in the world it can things can happen and you know we don't want them to happen but thank you very much thank you let me ask you a few questions okay. tell us about tonight and about what happened in Oak Creek okay. can you introduce yourself for the camera what's your name and where do you live um, my name is Brian and I live in Oak Creek Wisconsin that's where the tragedy happened and can you tell us what happened what do you know about the events what happened um, that a man came into a Sikh temple and shot some people and he was also shot by the police and how do you feel about these events, these horrible events? How did it make you feel? Well, it made me feel really sad because why would some guy come in and hurt a bunch of innocent people for no reason at all? And I didn't really understand it much because, like, it was a, it was in the middle of their ceremony before didn't that. Didn't do anything to deserve that. Yeah. So it's it's really sad. And what do you know about the Sikh community? Do you know much about Sikhs? Um, I know that they're very peaceful people, and they um, they just very peaceful and they very prosperous that's all I've... do you have any Sikh neighbors or friends um yeah there's a few Sikhs that go to our school we're they're really nice people honestly we don't know them that well but they're nice and before this incident did you do you know about, much about the Sikh temple did you have you ever been to the Sikh temple to visit I've never been to it but I've heard about it and I heard that it was a very peaceful and welcoming place for the Sikh people and everybody there Perhaps this event will encourage us to find out more about uh, communities that live within our towns. And maybe you'll uh, visit the Sikh temple. Would you like to go and visit it? I would like to visit it to see what it's like in there and like how it changed some people's lives. Definitely check it out. Learn more about it. I think it would be a really cool experience just to go see how so many other people worship and just um, how so many people lead their lives. Just be really cool. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, around 10, 12 years. And uh, these events that have happened recently, how do you feel about what happened? It's very unfortunate. I don't think uh, it's uh, this whole intention of, of, of uh, whatever the reason being not not uh, not right thing that had happened on Sunday morning. It's not. Really. And what about the future? Will uh, the future be better for the communities here? Will there be more understanding in the future? I, I hope so. I, I think that's yes, something that needs to happen. Hopefully, I see you see a lot of crowd come over here. Um, it's showing the solidarity. Um, hopefully, that will that will continue, and and there is awareness is really required, and hopefully that will that will come out of this thing. And how can we have that awareness? How can we increase awareness and education? Um, education is one of the things, as you mentioned. Um, you know, people coming out, learning about this uh, community. Um, as we heard a lot of times that you know, the Gurudwara is open for everybody. Everybody is welcome to it. Um, so hopefully, the education, more education, would would certainly help. Thank you very much. Thank you. If there's a funeral, they'll wear white. The same way you be offered it. I just like funeral colour. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, would you like to say a few words for the? It's a very horrific event. Um, it's just amazing that this uh, this kind of evil can come into such a peaceful place um, on, on a holy day, no less. Did you know much about the Sea community before this event? Um, very little. Very little. I did not. Did not. But learning much more and. I think that's part of the whole process of everything that's going on, is we're learning to everybody's cultures and... and, and how can we facilitate greater education and engagement of different communities? Any suggestions? Um, well, this is, you know, a very um, hard thing that's happened here, but I mean, obviously everybody's blending and, and showing support and, um, you know, willing to learn. I mean, it, it's a start. There's obviously relationships starting here that could very well last much longer. Everything I know of, it's, it's very peaceful, 
um, and the, you know religion. You know, I, I really didn't know too much about it. I knew where it was. I knew one person that went there for meditation, and that that's about it. Would you like to go to the Sikh temple one day to have a look and to find out what happens and uh, have a look around? Would you? Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. I saw such a peace and grace about the people that were suffering the tragedy of the day and the days. And it opened my eyes. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time. Ben in Oakville. Can you just introduce yourself to the camera? And, uh, can you introduce yourself? Tell us uh, your name and where you live and about recent events in Oak Creek. Uh, my name is Ryan Piper and I live here, uh, my family lives here in Oak Creek. And uh, we just couldn't uh, believe that something like this can happen this close to home. And uh, it's just a horrible, horrible tragedy. tragedy. So we brought the family out tonight to uh, show our support. And, uh, you know, uh, Oak Creek's the kind of city that's going to come together tonight here. And as you can see by, by how many people are here, and uh, we're going we're gonna to stand behind everybody. So. And did you know much about the sea community before this incident? Not a lot, no. Um, again, just kind of surprised that this could happen in your community, and we're here to show our support to our community and the ones that we lost. And how can we facilitate better engagement and understanding, and perhaps education so people are more aware of other communities that live alongside them and learn more about each other? Any suggestions how we can facilitate better education? You know, I think it's just uh, building a community in the city you live in. You know, I think there are a lot of people here who maybe are very unfamiliar with that. And, and tonight, it, you know, it doesn't matter who you are or, or what you believe in, and everybody's here for one purpose tonight. And it's things like, unfortunately, it's things like this that are really going to bring a community together. So there are, something positive has come out of this terrible tragedy, and hopefully there might be some better engagement in the future in Oak Creek. Yes, I agree. I think we need it as a community. We all need to, to be together at this and be behind our people here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yes. Say a few words. Say hi. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Great. Okay. Well, this is a very sad situation, and I think people are here tonight to show support. Um, all these people were part of our community, and they deserve our respect. And we hope this will never happen again in this country. And did you know much about the Sikh community before this event? Did you know much about Sikhs? I have to honestly say I did not. But I'm going to find out more. Would you like to come and visit the Sikh temple? Oh, yes. Definitely I'd like to come and visit the temple. That would be great, because the Sikh community would also try and facilitate greater education and engagement to get more people involved and uh, they may have open days in the future. If they have an open day at the Sikh temple, would you like to go and have a look around and see what happens and find out more? Oh, definitely. I, I would be there. I hope it would be well publicized, it would be in the paper and we would all know about it. Thank you very much. You. Thank you. Ready? You ready? My name is Sammy Rangel. I'm a, a member of an organization called Life After Hate. Um, the founders of Life After Hate were a lot like the man who attacked your temple, but they have since changed and practice peace, but we also are very much into activism. Um, we, last year, were invited to go to a summit against violent extremism, and there uh, they brought together 84 men and women who used to practice hate and violence. Uh, and they combined it, our group with survivors of violent extremism, survivors from the 9-11 attacks, from people who were once member of Osama bin Laden's camps who had since left and changed their lives. Um, Life After Hate wants to extend uh, their sincerest condolences and sympathies to the Sikh community. The reality is that before Tuesday, I didn't know anything about your people. Um, but this is an issue of humanity. It's an issue of human rights. Um, and the Sikh people are definitely a part of our community and are definitely human. Are you, are you from the area? Do you, do you live in the locality? I live in Racine, which is not far. I'm 20 minutes from here. Um, but I travel the country and I've never had to come into my own community 
to deal with something, uh, an act of, of uh, local terrorism. I've never had to do that within our community. And so this is in our backyard. And if I can go to California, if I can go to Ireland, I can certainly come here and support the people. Yesterday, me and a friend of mine from Chicago came and we sat in the Salvation Army. We didn't know what to do or who to talk to, but we felt that showing up was probably one of the most important things we could do. And we're here tonight with some of my family and representing Life After Hate. We, we want to bring our message to your people, and we want to help your people bring your message out. The community that I'm with is an international community, and the group of us are posting about what's happened here. We're asking people to uh, take a moment and to speak out uh, for the rights of your people, for the rights of your people to practice and to practice safely what your views and beliefs are. Um, and Do you know much about the Sikh faith? Do you know much about it yourself? I, I don't know much about the Sikh faith. Like I said, I had never really um, heard of your people until Tuesday. But to me, I see a brother, I see a sister, um, I see humans, and I want I want to know more about your people, and I want to share what my people do, and I brought um, the things that are important to me. Um, this is a candle from a woman who was held in Chechnya by terrorists in Chechnya because she was helping the people. I mean, there, there are a lot of us all over the world who are concerned about what's happened to you. We want to introduce you to them, bring, bring you into them, and have them come into your lives to help you guys. Great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll, friends. I'll, once I get in touch with you, I'll invite you to be a part of our international group. That would be great. Okay. Thanks. What is your name? It's uh, Devinde. Devinde. It is a pleasure to meet What's you. What's your name? My name is Sammy. Sammy. Nice to meet you. Likewise. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you? Thank you. Abdul. What's your name? Devinde. I'm Abdel. Your name? I just came from a radio. I wanted to cover it. Oh, from a radio station. Yeah. What do you feel about it? Uh, I guess I, I don't know. I don't. Um, uh, I think we're just shocked. And um, even being here reminds us that although um, we're you know, sometimes uncomfortable being around people and people get restless and whatever, we're all part of a community and we just need to be together and be comfortable being together. And did you know much about the Sikh community before these events? Were we nervous about it? Did you know about the Sikh community? Did you? Yes, not the Sikh community here, but yes, we knew about Sikhs. Mm -hmm. And what did you know about the Sikh faith or community? Uh, just from a college class, some kind of, you know, basic knowledge. Um, that they believe in one God and you know, just very basic things. Did you have any Sikh friends or did you know any Sikh people? Uh, no, I don't think so. Um, there was, you know, a man who sat next to me on the bus a couple of times, but no. Um, would you like to visit a Sikh temple? Would you like to go to the Gurdwara, the Sikh temple, to have a look around to see what happens? We would sometime. We'd love to. Yeah, we've been to the Hindu temple in Pewaukee and we would love to go. And uh, there have been new initiatives from the Sikh community in Oak Creek to engage the local community, and that will involve days out and invitations to come and visit the temple. Would you like to go along? Yeah, we would. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. If you can introduce yourself and tell us where you live and about recent events in Oak Creek. Marisa, I live in Oak Creek, not too far from here, about three miles. Um, it was glued to the television on Sunday, just saddened by the events that something like this could happen so close to my home and just feeling so horrible for the Sikh community as well. And did you know much about the Sikh community prior to these events? Not much. A neighbor of ours is part of that community, so she had taught my daughter a little bit about it, but not very much at all. It's been fascinating to learn about it, though. Since these events, have you been researching and did you learn more about Sikh community after this horrible event? Yes, I did. And I learned a lot from my friend who's Sikh. Do you think there should be more education, more engagement, people should learn more about each other? I definitely agree. I think it would provide so much more peace for different ethnic groups and for us to all get along so we don't fear someone because they look different from us, but accept it and learn about such a loving community. And were you ever given an opportunity or did you, to visit the Sikh temple before these horrible events? I have not, but now I'm fascinated in learning a little bit more about it. 
and would you like to visit the temple? Because uh, did you know, for example, the Sikh temple, the Gurdwara, is uh, uh, open to everybody? And often in other parts of the world, certainly in the UK and in India and other parts of the world, Gurdwara is often visited by people from all faiths. And, uh, and it's, it's an open building for everybody to visit and take part in the, in the services. And also with a free kitchen, there's a free food is served all day long. And uh, did you know about any of these things? Not until I read it in the newspaper yesterday and today. But I'd like to stop in and see what it's about and learn more about it because it sounds so wonderful being so peaceful and loving and accepting of all groups of people. That's great. We, we hope you'll visit the Sikh temple and find it a great experience and some positive has come out of this horrible event. Right. I hope that everyone can learn from this horrible event and grow from it and start moving forward. Thank you very much. Thank okay. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remiss if I didn't say this, so I'm just going to stop before I introduce the mayor and say this. I just want to say that on behalf of the Sikh American community, both here in Wisconsin but nationally, we want to thank the community of Oak Creek for their love, for their warmth in this time of need. We want to thank the people of Wisconsin. It means so much to us that the police department acted with such heroism and bravery when we needed them to. It means so much to the Sikh community that flags around our great country are flying at half-mast until August the 10th. There's no greater show of solidarity than that, that a country can show than to have your flag flying at half-mast. And so I want to thank um, our president for uh, proclaiming that our flag would be flying at half-mast in a show of solidarity with the, our community. Finally, I want to thank also everyone here who has their head covered as a show of solidarity with the city.